Hi there and welcome once again to one of my video tutorials. Now this time around I'm going to be painting this Big Eater. It's a very colourful isn't it? So, But this is going to be different. This is a bonus video tutorial for you. Part 1 is going to be on YouTube, okay? And part 2 and 3 as well as part 1 obviously will be here on Patreon. Now the idea of this video is that I've been sent some brand new paints from a lady in America who makes her own watercolour paints. And I thought I'd give him a try. So she said, would you mind giving him a go and let me know how you get on with them? Because he's all handmade as well. Uh, where they, they incorporate um, honey, ox gal, I think clove oil as well as within the paints. And you can see these are the ones here. So I'm not trying to advertise them, just want to let you know which ones I'm using today. Um, what I suggest you do, if I just kind of hold them to the screen, I don't know if you'll be able to see that if I can zoom in on the camera for you later on. But what you want to do, if you're not going to go with the paints in this project, look at the colors I've got. This is your challenge actually. And look at the colours which you've got within your mixing palette. Okay, see if you can find anything similar to the colours which I use here. Now, these particular ones, to give you some ideas what it is, this is uh, a mixing, obviously, tray as you can see at the bottom, but well, that's made of glass. Okay, these are in separate uh, metal containers or separate metal pans, if you wish. And the back of this is magnetised, so it's all kind of magnetised in. You can just lift them out, move them around, whatever you want to do. So, and because they're, as I said, handmade, they're very sticky, but they take very little time to work up. You know, normally with your, I've got them with me at the moment, with your normal watercolours, is that you've got to really mix them, wet them down, spray them first. This, a couple of whites of a damp brush, and it's ready to go. That's how concentrated they are. So, it's a challenge for me to try out something new, new paints like this, using new colours. I'll just put the chart there for you so you can just see what I mean by the chart. Um, and that's this particular one. I'll just bring a picture up of the, of the cause in question. Okay, got the idea? Just pause the video. All right, paused. Shall I hold my breath? <gasps> oh, yep, I can't breathe any longer. <sighs> okay, right, okay. So they're the colors I'm going to be using for this. And different days like poppy, sunflower, daffodil, that kind of thing. So it would be quite interesting to see how well it goes. So as I mentioned, look at what colors you've got within your mixing palette and uh, try and find something similar to the ones I've got here. Now the painting in question is this one here, okay, and the B to itself, as you can see, it's a lovely bird, so very, very colourful, very colourful indeed. And as I say, with this particular one, we've got yellows, we've got blues, we've got greens, we've got browns, we've got reds, we've got a variety of colours in there. Now Regina also sent me a little block pad as well, um, not like the ones I normally use, the, the blocked watercolour pads where it's glued all the way around. And it's got a little gap, as you can see at the top there, where you can slide a palette knife or like a guitar pick so far in and slide all the way around to take that top sheet of paper off. So she sent me this little pad. Now, the challenge for me with anything like this is because it's such a small pad as well, I'm not used to painting on such a small piece of paper. So to paint something so tiny like that was one heck of a challenge, so I thought I'd give it a go. Follow me step by step, remember the outline drawing and the reference photos here as well for you. So please let me know how you get on. And also be quite interested to find out what colours that you've used compared to the ones I've got here within this uh, colour palette. So different colours, different paper, and apart from my double zero brush here, even a different brush. So yeah, a bit of a scary thing to do live on a video. And so it'll be quite interesting to see how well I get on with this. Okay. So let's paint this bee eater together and give it a go. And uh, let's get the brushes wet. Let's get started. 